I'm Teacher Mariah. Welcome to Circle Time Club with Home CEO Academy. Today I've got my special chicken here with me again and she has something to do with our theme. Do you remember what it was? Let's begin. Let's check in with Lexi for today's hello song. Hello kids! Claudia, my best friend and chicken, is having a bad day today. Let's cheer her up by welcoming her to our new kids club. Hello, hello everyone. Yeah, you're our newest member. Newest member, newest member, yeah. Claudia is feeling welcome and in a good mood again. Congratulations. Goodbye. See you later. I love seeing your faces. Five eggs and five eggs. That makes ten. Sitting on top is the mother hen. Bok, bok. Crack, crack. What's that I see? Ten fuzzy chicks, as cute as can be. All right, it is time to update our theme board. I love to have an updated theme board, don't you? All right, well, we're gonna start with our sentence cards. We can always put a new, fresh set of sentence cards on our theme board. Last time that we got together, our sentence card started with this one. It says, female chickens are called... That's right, hens. And male chickens are called, you're correct, they are called roosters. And speaking of roosters, do you remember what they say in the morning? That's right, they say cock-a-doodle-doo, roosters crow cock-a-doodle-doo, very loudly in the morning. Our new sentence card for the day says, chickens eat grains, seeds, vegetables, and fruit. Now, I'm gonna show you a picture. This picture that I have up on the screen are some chickens in a yard and they're pecking on the ground. And chickens establish this thing called a pecking order and they basically determine a hierarchy. And what that means is they decide among themselves who gets to eat first, second, and third. And it depends on how strong the chickens are or how persistent the chickens are that determines that pecking order. And um, eventually, once they work it out amongst themselves, they know what the pecking order is and it establishes a sense of peace because everyone knows what they're supposed to be doing. So that is something that is a part of hen society, you could say. Our next sentence card is we cook eggs for food. Now eggs are a wonderful source of B vitamins as well as protein. So if you like eggs, you are getting some great vitamins, great healthy vitamins for your growth. You can make scrambled eggs, you can make fried eggs, some people make omelets and some and fried rice actually. You gotta crack an egg in that fried rice as the very last part of making fried rice. And it's so good. There's even something called egg drop soup. There's so many things that you can make with eggs. And let's update our, our flashcards here. We had a chick, a hen, and a rooster. And we can put three new ones on. I have the egg hatching sequence, what that means is the steps. So first it starts as an egg, and then when the egg hatches, it's called a hatchling. And then you have a chick, that's that baby. And then you have a full-fledged chicken, although this is a young chicken, so you could say it's a young chicken. And then here we have a carton of eggs. So that's something you've probably seen around your house. We use eggs even in the recipes to make muffins and cakes too. And here we have chicken feed. Now feed doesn't mean like to feed the chickens. Feed is in the name of the food that we give chickens and it's this brown stuff here. And that's also what they're pecking at when they're figuring out their pecking order. And there you have it. Our theme board is updated. You did a wonderful job. Now, meet me over at the desk and we're gonna work on our wake up warm ups. Great job guys. It's time for our chicken flashcards. Carton of eggs, chick, chicken coop. 
That's where chickens live. Chicken feed. That's the name of the food for the chickens. Egg hatching sequence. Hen. Nest of eggs. And finally, rooster. So what we're going to do right now is called a shadow match. So we have all of these images. They're all black. They have no detail in them. And we need to match them to these cards. So let's start with our first card. Let's, let's kind of compare it to this first one up here. Is that a match? Now that's pretty similar. They both have this thing on the top. They both have a beak. But look at the tail feathers. These tail feathers are short and these tail feathers are long, so that cannot be a match. What about these two? No, that's not a match. What about these two? Definitely not a match. What about these? That's right, these are a match. Let's look at our next card. It's a feed bag. What I can tell about this feed bag is it has a rectangular shape, a little bit of kind of like a lip on the side. So is that rectangular shaped? Not really. What about that? Does that have a rectangle type shape? No. What about this one? No, that's actually an oval shape. What about this one? Well, that looks like a match, doesn't it? It is. Hmm, now we have a nest. Some things that I observe about this nest is the outline. It's sort of an oval shape on the outline, but it's kind of got these jaggedy edges. So I'm going to be looking for a shadow that looks like that. Hmm, that definitely doesn't look like a sideways oval. That, no, that doesn't match. What about this? Now that's sort of a similar shape, but it's not in the direction that we're looking for. What about this? Now that looks like it could be a match, don't you think? I think so. Hmm, next we have this image of a hen. I wonder where she could go. Well, she's definitely got two feet. If I look at our remaining ones, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, it's really only these two that have feet. So it must be one of those. I think, which one do you think it is? That's correct. She goes right there. Next, we have a chick. Hmm, I think you know where this one goes. It's definitely not this. It's definitely not this. It's certainly not that. So it has to be this. Now we have an egg. Now this egg has a very distinctive shape. And it goes here. And we have our last two items here the carton of eggs, and the chicken coop. Oh, this is tricky, guys. Look at this. You might have to notice when your shadow is upside down. It didn't look right at first, but now it does. That's the shadow match. And then our chicken coop fills in the very last spot. You can try this activity at home. Great job on your warm-ups today, kids. All right, now it's time for us to cozy up and relax because now Teacher Ashley is going to read us a story. Today's book is Counting Chickens by Polly Alakija. Toby was the proud owner of the finest hen in his village. Toby's friends all had their own animals, too. Here are all her, his friends with all of their animals. On Monday, Ade's cow had a calf. Toby's hen laid one egg. On Tuesday, 
On Tuesday, Tunde's sheep had two lambs. One, two. Toby's hen laid a second egg. One, two. On Wednesday, Beezy's goat had three kids. One, two, three. Toby's hen laid a third egg. So here's Toby's hen. One, two, three. On Thursday, a Duca's cat had four kittens. One, two, three, four. Toby's hen laid a fourth egg. One, two, three, four. On Friday, Lalu's dog had five puppies. One, two, three, four, five. Toby's hen laid a fifth egg. One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, Dapo's pig had six piglets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Toby's hen laid a sixth egg. One, two, three, four, five, six. On Sunday, Toby's hen laid a seventh egg. And there they sat, waiting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One week later, Ade's calf mooed loudly. Tunde's lambs could run and skip. Beezy's kids climbed about. But Toby sat with his hen, waiting. Two weeks later, Aduka's kittens chased their tails. Laulu's puppies chased the kittens. Dapo's piglets rolled in the dust. But... Toby sat with his hen, waiting. Toby's friends teased him and said that they would eat his eggs for breakfast. But then, after 21 days, Toby was waiting no more. And neither was his fine hen. They both watched with great pride as their brood of seven beautiful chicks hatched. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. Soon the seven chicks grew into hens, almost as perfect as their mother hen. The next year they all had chicks of their own. See all the, t all the hens up here? One, two, three up here. And look, they've laid eggs of their own. Now Toby is the proud owner of so many chickens, he can't count them all. Can you? Wow, look at all his chickens. Oh, it says right here, there are 50 chickens. So if you want to pause the video and see if you can count all 50 chickens, that would be fun to do. Okay, that was Counting Chickens by Polly Alakija. Friends, thank you for joining me at my work table. Now remember, all activities we do at the work table need to be completed with teacher or caregiver support. Today's activities do not include a directed drawing, so we'll go over three activities you get to do. The first one is letter coloring. You have a photo of cherries and a drawing of cherries and your job is to use your crayons to color this picture to look just like the photo and then you get to trace the letters in the word cherries the second page is d is for daisy it's the same as the first one except for now you're looking at a photo of a daisy and coloring the picture and then tracing the word daisy our next activity you'll need scissors and glue for 
you are going to cut out the eggs at the bottom of the page and then you're going to sort them. All of the number eggs are going to go in this basket and all of the letter eggs will go in this basket. And then you can glue them down once you've sorted them. And then our final activity is called sequencing. We have an egg hatch sequence on this page and then a life cycle on this page. So with the egg hatch, you're sorting the pictures to glue in the order that a chick hatches from its egg. And on this page, you're going to glue in the order a chicken develops. What it starts as would go here and what it finishes as would go here. Okay, I hope you enjoy completing these activities. Okay kids, let's get moving with this week's action cards. Can you cluck like a hungry chicken? Can you peck at your bowl of seeds? Can you scramble like you're running away from a farmer? Can you lay an egg? Good job. It was so much fun today doing Circle Time Club with you. I, we had a blast. I hope you had a blast as well. Now remember, when you go back and do your activities, make them unique and special to you. We'd love to see what you come up with. Write to us sometime. From all of us here at Home CEO Academy, I hope you have an incredible rest of your day, and we'll see you again next time. Goodbye! Hey, you could be larger than life.